guys, it's Kayla here. I'm trying to put some new content on my YouTube, and since today I didn't have homework, I thought why not do a reaction video. And it's another one of my favorite YouTubers. His name is Pretty Boy Fredo. I've heard so much about how he did some and racism today. Like he got kicked out of his um apartment because some guy was cursing at him or whatever. Reaction on this, do reaction on that. So let me get my headphones out. It starts right now. Keep talking rude as fuck. Keep talking. Go ahead. So what did you just say? To, what did you just say to me while I'm in the elevator? You just said, "Fuck the fuck up." Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, I'm not. No, I'm gonna stand here now because you're disrespectful as fuck. All because my dog is standing here and you have stuff in your hand. So I was going up the elevator and what did you do? And what did you do? I said step back. I said step back because of my dog. I said let me go by myself. Just hurry the fuck up and get out of the way. Anything else you want to say? Never racial profile someone else again. Never do that again. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. Yes, you did! Yes, you did! You racist fuck! I'm if you get me then! I swear to God, dude. I'm not using my oh, language! Oh my gosh, dude. All right. Yo, with a smack you have issues, man. You have Something issues. is wrong with you. you. Are Don't worry. Wrong. I'm gonna see you. Don't worry. I'm gonna see you. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Come here. Come on. Lay down. Big old baby. Yeah, big baby. What's up? <laughs> Woo! Alright, guys. Golly, this guy can make you smile through, you know what I'm saying, the worst times. Last Friday, I was disrespected in a manner that I could never imagine. Not only was I racially slurred, racially slandered, but I was disrespected in a way that I would never want to happen to someone, ever. It has gotten so bad that now me and my pregnant girlfriend are being asked to leave from a place that we have been living for seven months with no issues, literally paying rent on time, having problems with our dog or anything, no issues, no problems. You're literally being kicked out, kicked to the curb because of an incident that happened on Friday. Friday, I was racially slandered. I was racially slurred by this Caucasian male when I was going up the elevator. Let me start from the beginning so everyone can understand where we are. Now, like I just said, we have been living in this place for seven months. No issues, no problems. We just re-signed our lease. Not only this, mind you, we have our dog on our lease. Since day one, our dog with a picture has been on our lease. My dog is one of the, the kindest, most friendly, one of the most harmless dogs you could ever be around. I would never put someone in a situation around a dog that I would feel was unstable or unfit to be around. Last Friday, I was going up in the elevator with my dog. Now, whenever I go in the elevator with my dog and we stop at a floor that is not my floor to get off, I politely ask the individuals that are outside of the elevator if they could just let me and my dog go up without them coming on. For the simple reason of the courtesy of them and for myself because Dogs will be dogs, okay? If you get on the elevator with me and we're in a little square, there's a possibility my dog's gonna jump up, dog's gonna be licking you, you know, my dog's gonna be all around you. So for the courtesy of you and myself, I'd rather just take the elevator by myself so that you don't have to worry about that and so that I don't. Now, typically when I tell someone this, they have no problem with it. They just say, yes, you know, have a great day. Literally, I've gone through this for the seven months I've, I've been here. Every single time I've said it, no one has ever had a problem until this one day. Now, last Friday, I'm casually going up in the elevator and we stopped on the floor that wasn't our floor. And there's a guy and his wife standing outside the elevator with a bunch of stuff in their hands, literally all piled up upon each other. Now, like I always do, I politely ask the guy, if you don't mind for me and my dog to just go up and can you catch the next elevator? Cause there's two elevators in their stairs that they can take. Now without hesitation, with me politely asking this guy this, this guy proceeded to disrespect me beyond means I could have ever imagined. After me asking the guy that, he told me this, I have shit in my hands, get your fucking dog back. 
straight like that, with no hesitation. Now, I didn't propose any aggression towards this person. I didn't do anything. I politely asked him if me and my dog can go to the top. He felt so comfortable and, and just so right to just say, I have shit in my hands. Why don't you get your fucking dog back? Straight like that, with no hesitation. So it took me a second to really analyze and understand what was going on, that this guy was disrespecting me. Once that clicked and I said, who does this guy think he is? I, I retaliated. I stepped out of the elevator and I asked him, I said, who do you think you talking to like that? And this guy came right back. We started going back and forth at each other. He started using racial slurs for no reason at all. Mind you, I'm just totally caught off guard. I just politely asked you if me and my dog can go up and you just decided to disrespect me and use racial slurs and, and do all of this unnecessary stuff for no reason. I was extremely caught off guard to the point that I decided to take off my phone and record him. So we're outside of the uh, elevator arguing and he's using racial slurs calling me all type of names right in front of his wife. Not only is he using these words, but his wife is cursing at me as well, saying all different type of stuff. Now I'm looking at these people like, how the hell did this even happen? All I did was politely ask you guys, can I go up by myself for the courtesy of not only you guys, but myself so that we don't have any problems. They have a bunch of stuff on my hand, their hands. Why would I want them to get in the elevator with me? So that my dog can jump all over them and lick them and stuff. You know, dogs are gonna be dogs. So to avoid that, I'm like, can, you know, can I please just go up by myself? And he just came with the disrespect and started using racial slurs and all of this. So we were yelling at each other back and forth and eventually a manager came upstairs. And as the manager came upstairs, you can see in the video, he was hopping in the elevator leaving at that exact moment. I explained everything clearly to the manager. What everything went on, the racial slurs, exactly what happened. He said, you know what? We're gonna handle this situation. Don't worry about it. We're gonna look into our lease and we'll see what we can do about it. Now, I didn't wanna blow everything up off rip. I was like, okay. My girlfriend was like, how about you just let management work it out. It'll all work itself out. I said, okay, I'll just calm down and I'll just let them do their thing. Now comes Monday, we get a phone call. They said that we have two weeks to either get rid of your dog, which, which hell no, which is definitely not happening, or move out. They said, since we have an aggressive breed dog, we must either A, move him out, or B, we have to move out within two weeks. Now, if our dog was so aggressive, A, why did you initially let us sign the lease with our dog is on the lease with papers, with records of his shots, his picture, everything. These people have literally been seeing the same dog for seven months. And on top of that, we just signed last week for another seven months. Why would you let us sign an initial lease and re-sign a lease if our dog was so aggressive? They wanna justify and say that the guy is not in the wrong because it's he said, she said. Because I don't have any clear evidence that the guy was wrong, that he didn't use racial slurs against me. Now, in that moment, I was not expecting this guy to call me a nigger and call me all these different names, be cursing at me and be aggressive with me. I was not expecting that. I pulled my phone out at the very, literally, the very last seconds of this guy going off. Now, of course, when I put the phone up, he not gonna be doing yeah, the he's same gonna thing. He gonna change his whole manner. He's not gonna be the same. Of course, that's how people are. Now, they wanna say that in the case of him, he's not wrong because it's he said, she said, but they wanna say that I have an aggressive dog and that and I and I asked him you guys have some evidence of my dog being aggressive they said no but that all last week the same week that they were getting several complaints about AJ all several complaints but that's the, again it's he said she said is that true exactly There's the evidence of yeah. AJ doing all these crazy things that they said he's doing when he doesn't do anything. Exactly. He would have done this in the beginning if he was really aggressive. Exactly. Where's the evidence of my dog being aggressive? They all of a sudden want to say that my dog was snapping at people. Come on, man. Stop with the bullshit, dog. You see a young black nigga with a pit bull. Simple. You see a young black nigga with a pit bull, but you didn't know who I was. 
You didn't know the type of person that I truly was. I was racial profile. I was racial slur. I was racial slander. I was all of that, all into one. I do not want these people to get away with this. And no one should ever, literally ever, have to experience what me and my girlfriend is now going through. She is pregnant. Now I have to stress her out and have to try to find a new place within two weeks, bro. Do you know how hard that is? I am a popular YouTuber. I have to make sure that my environment is safe, not only for me, but for my family. I have a kid on the way, and you're gonna tell me that I gotta move out within two weeks because I have an aggressive breed dog? Man, you know what, baby? There's a bunch of other people that have the same breed dog. Yeah, I was just gonna say that there's Rottweilers here. Rottweilers. There's uh, other pit bulls here. Pit bulls, big dog, uh, bulldogs. Um, Dobermans, there's all different type of and dogs here. they don't here. have service. You when there's a service dog, they have to wear like a, a harness. And, harness and, yeah, like all this and we told them. them. That, and they're like, well, you we know, told them that no there's that other pit bulls and stuff like that. And they said that there's other reasons maybe why that they're here. Come on, stop with the bullshit, bro. Stop with the bullshit. You got caught. This is done. This is dead. I am not letting this happen to someone else. Please, I beg you guys, spread this video. Absolutely. We don't need no donations. We don't need no funds, none of that. We're good over here. I'm absolutely good. What I care about the most is making sure that this don't happen to somebody else. I don't want this to happen to anyone else because that guy felt so comfortable to sit there disrespect me, racially disrespect me. No one deserves to go through what me and my family are now going through. Now we have to pick up, we have to relocate and find a new place within two weeks. That's like damn near impossible. How? How? How am I supposed to do that, bro? How am I supposed to do that? What would stop him from doing this to someone else? Yeah. All right? If he get away with this this one time, he gon' do it again. He's and obviously comfortable exactly. with he, what, he's, what he's saying and how he treats people. He felt comfortable enough to say it to me. He damn sure would feel comfortable enough to say it to someone else. And I'm not gonna be physical or do this type of stuff because that's not the type of person I am. I preach nothing but positive vibes on my channel. Watch my channel. It's nothing but positive vibes because that's the type of person I am. People know that I like to motivate. I like to inspire people to be great. That's what I believe in. Regardless of skin color, no matter what it is, we are all equal. No one deserves this. Never do that again. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You racist fuck. No, I'm going up the elevator and I tell this Yeah, and I told him, I said, I got my dog, let me go by myself. He said, turn the fuck up with your stupid dog and get out of my way. I got stuff in my hands. That's what he just said to me. Yes, you did. And then he started using racial, racial slurs and all of that stuff. He went up. I honestly don't like how that guy treated Pretty Boy Fredo. I've never seen AJ be in attack mode, and I watch almost all of Pretty Boy Fredo's videos. Like, I'm a big fan. Like he said, he does spread only positive vibes. And if he was petty, you know, I, he could have told you guys to, like, block him, report him, and all that stuff. But he's honestly just telling us to spread the word for this video so racism stops. And I really pray that they get a house soon because, you know, they do have a baby on the way. And I pray that that baby becomes healthy and is raised amazingly well because I know where Alfredo and Jasmine will be amazing parents in the future. So I pray for them. Um, I want to spread the word for this video. The video, I'll put the link in my description. So if you like this video, leave a like comment and subscribe but thanks for watching bye